Hello and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph and today's video is super exciting for two reasons. Um, this palette, oh. firstly it was made by Pout and Shout which if you are not new to my channel you will know I love the blushes and highlights from Pout and Shout. I do have one single shadow which I love um, but also I keep snakes so uh, that makes this all the more special. The artwork, she uses uh, recycled packaging, upcycle packaging, and she does all of this artwork herself. How stunning is that? And then the inside of this palette, look at that beautiful grungy colour story. Absolutely stunning. I have been dying to play with this. I have been so good, I've not even swatched it. So uh, yeah, all of Pout and Shout's pieces, I must say, are unique. Um, I do believe if there's certain shades or certain things that you would like, if you um, message her on Instagram, if it's something she feels she can do, then she generally will. She's so, so lovely. Just one of the most beautiful people. She fosters cats, which... Uh, Gives her an extra star in my eyes. This is what we're going to be playing with today and I am so excited. The names, also I have to say the names. So we have got, let me go to whichever side. So we have got Rosie Bower, we have got Danger Noodle, we have got Silly String, uh, Kisses with the extra S's, uh, Nope Rope, Out on a Limb, Sliver, very good play on words, um, Sun Snack, Shake Your Grass, <laughs> I love that, and <laughs> Memories of Eden. It wasn't until I said that out loud that I realised how funny that was. Yeah, slow on the pickup. So, what I am going to do, I've already primed my eyes with the P. Louise Base Pro in the shade Room 02. I love it. I know it works with pretty much everything. I don't set it. Um, I never set my base because I like my colours to pop. So for the crease, I think I am going to go in with Danger Noodle. I'm so excited to say these names out loud. Right. So I'm just going to take that on a Made by Mitchell, where is it, ME1. Um, I have had a couple of people ask me to name the brushes I'm using. So this is a Made by Mitchell ME1. I will try to remember to say this. Ooh, oh, I love this shade of purple. Oh, okay, this is a beautiful colour. It's blending beautifully. Uh, I'd say this is more of a satin than a matte finish. Oh, I like this a lot. I'm just going to blend out the edges up here so you don't have that harsh line look at that oh okay that looks so much better it's so much better the color i love far more than i thought i would oh, it's really beautiful really beautiful well, so far we are one shade in and I'm having no issues. I do love the shade that, well, the one single shadow I have from Pout and Shout. It is a blue and I love it. Yeah, it's definitely a satin with a, sh I would say shimmer leaning. But I am not mad at that at all. Just look at this. Now I know that um, this palette is not the same as like with mainstream palettes and like indie brand palettes, they come up with a palette and there's lots of them. Um, obviously with Pout and Shout it's 
everything is unique but I love that I love to know that even if it's like similar to what's been done for someone else it's there's always a difference be it in the packaging be it in the um, the tone I just I love I love more unique things can't stop putting this on <laughs> I am gonna have to move on to the next color in a second because otherwise I'm just gonna sit here applying this all day which you know don't get me wrong I, I would happily do I would happily kind of paint my body this color this is beautiful okay so for deepening and the outer v i'm going to go in with sun snack now this does ha seem to have a lot of like glitter sparkles in but it's very soft to the touch i'm pretty sure most of these sparkles will fall off so I'm being very careful because I've done my base and I don't want fallout yeah this is nice you do see some of the sparkles but it's definitely not overpowering does that make sense beautiful this girl is so talented just blending the edges and bringing it into the crease oh, I am I'm so loving this I really should have done my eyes first because there is a bit of fallout but that's okay I've just popped some loose powder under there to catch any bits that do fall out again this is absolutely stunning this is such it's like it really deep 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 dark purple like really deep sparkles i'm seeing kind of green purple blue i am not mad at that at all just look at that absolutely gorgeous so for my under eyes i'm going to dip back into that sun snake just ever so slightly just to kind of bring it against the lash line just to join up the upper and lower lids And just taking a bit of Danger Noodle, that first purple we went in with, I'm just going to take that just on the edges, just on the edges, on the edge of Sun Snack. I can't, I can't speak today. Okay, I think I am going to need to use a fluffier brush. Definitely. Right, let's get a little fluff brush. I've got loads of them. Why can't I find one? There's one. You will do. Oh, the brushes. <laughs> okay, so I've already forgot to tell you what brushes I'm using. Terrible. So for the deeper shade sun snack, I used a Peaches and Cream PC22. And then for the out top for the same colour for uh, right against my lash line I used a Spectrum A13 and then now I'm oh and for the Danger Noodle that I'd shade underneath I used a Morphe M149 and to blend out the lower lash line I am going in with a P Louise hashtag 
117. So let's get going. Well, this is really easy to to blend. I love this. Oh, I'm loving how this is looking. I'm so excited. This is awesome. Right, I'm going to be spraying the next shades. So for the outer part of my lid, I'm going in with Rosy Boa. Beautiful, and I'm using a Morphe. It doesn't say what it is, but it's one of these. So pick that up and the spray I'm using is the Makeup Obsession So Dope Makeup Fixing Spray. So I'm going to give that a spray and then we are going in with the outer part here. Oh, this is pretty. This is really pretty. Oh, I am loving this. It's your kind of classic shimmer formula. I'm not overly foiled, but I think it really oh, it's beautiful. These colours complement each other just so beautifully. Oh, just take a look at that. That is beautiful. And then for the inner part of my lid, I'm going in with Kisses. Kisses. I love it. And I'm using a Morphe Madison Beer brush that has no number or name. Is that one there? some of that up and then the spring again and oh now this is more of a this is a shimmer with sparkles in as well Little glitter particles oh look at that oh this is absolutely stunning look at that oh i love it i love it <sighs> this girl really needs so much more recognition than she gets because she is so talented her the formula of her products is amazing i'm always raving about her uh, blushes in particular and highlighters um, but her blushes are my absolute favorite blush formula ever oh i'm so excited to play in the green side too i might bring this out for karma chameleon and use the green side because uh, I really, really want to now. <laughs> I hope nobody minds that I'm using the same palette twice in a week, but it's got to be done. Just look at that. Look at that sparkle. And then I'm going to... I'm going to use the brush that I used for Sun Snake, the deeper shade. And I'm just going to use that just to dab, just dab over the edges there. I don't think we really need to add any more product. It's so pigmented, it's kind of... Oh, look at that. Okay, I am... Um, I am so in love with this palette. I feel very fairy-like today and I'm loving it. 
Right, so I'm going to nip off, finish my face, and then I will come back to uh, show you the finished look. I would say to give you my first impressions, my first thoughts, but I'm pretty sure I've already done that whilst doing my eye look. So, if you would like to see the finished look created with this beautiful looking like a snack palette, then uh, don't go anywhere. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Um, before we have a chat, I'll just let you know what else I've popped on my face. So firstly, on my eyes, the, uh, the black eyeliner is also the Lash Adhesive. It is the Yvette Beauty Lash Adhesive Liner. If you are in the US, I highly recommend this, highly. I mean, I recommend it anyways, but if you're in the US, this is a really affordable, amazing indie brand. I love this. And to tight line, I use the Fatal Beauty Black Like My Soul Eyeliner, um, another US indie brand that's amazing, does amazing products. This is my favorite black pen liner ever. I love it. And on my lashes is the Medeja Lash Mascara from Madage Beauty, another amazing product, absolutely love it. My lashes are from Makeup by Lisa, amazing UK indie brand based on the Isle of Wight, which uh, is where I'm from. These lashes are one of my absolute favourites. The first pair, I wore them to death, they literally fell apart. This is my second pair of the Raven lashes, I love them. I highly recommend them. Yeah. <laughs> so, where are we at now? Right, in my waterline. I have the Colourpop Cream Gel Liner in the shade Crybaby. I love that. My lower lashes, I use the Colourpop BFF Volumizing Mascara. And I have it in the shade Purple Prose. Not bad. I'm still forming my opinions on that one. So, how have we got off the eyes? Yes, we are now on to cheeks. So, the blush I went in with is another Pout and Shout favourite, is Juicy Lucy, and it is this absolutely gorgeous kind of, what do you call it, kind of a peachy, peachy colour, bit, bit deeper. I love it, absolutely love it. And the highlighter I went in with is also from Pout and Shout. It is one of the Happy Glow Lucky highlighters. This is in the shade Lucky Dice. Look at the packaging. Look at that. Um, but this is the highlighter. I also used that for my inner corner and brow bone highlight. And on my lips, I have got um, the base I patted down. You can make this bolder. Um, but I wanted an airy fairy look. So this is the Black Forest Cato. I have a sample from Pout and Shout. Um, it's really nice. I have worn it on its own, um, but today I thought it was a bit too much to go with this eye look. So I patted over it with the Dramatic Boutique, one of the holographic lip glosses. Um, I can never remember which one's which name wise because they have a number on the end. So. I don't know if you can see, this one is number one. And yeah, I love them. I love the formula, I love the effect they give. So yeah, I think I was, I felt like I was giving like little mini reviews on all those products there. Right, so, the Looking Like a Snack palette. 10, 10 plus stars for the packaging. Look at that. And I am a massive snake lover. Um, I don't know how many times I need to mention that. Um, and this colour story is absolutely beautiful. Um, I can't wait now to play with the greens. Um, but I do have to say the performance of them is beautiful. As you could see for yourselves. Um, I love the finished look. Absolutely love it. I, I just feel like a fairy today. And I am happy with that. If you want to uh, check out Pout and Shout, I will pop the link to her Instagram in the description box below. Um, she doesn't as yet have a website. She is a very, very new, small indie brand. Um, such a wonderful person. If you have any questions, pop her a DM on Instagram. She is 
wonderful and always happy to chat and answer questions so guys go check out pout and shout that is it from me for today i hope you've enjoyed this video if you have please give it a like thumbs up that really helps me out if you are new i love all things color all things makeup i'm a huge supporter of indie brands um and yeah i only use cruelty free products so if that sounds like something you'd be interested in then please do hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next time i upload thank you so much for joining me today i hope you're all having a great day a great evening wherever you are and whatever you're doing i hope you're taking care of yourselves i will see you again very very soon goodbye